Welcome back to another episode of Let's Diablo. And well, Let's Diablo. When last we met our intrepid hero, Jablo, he was off venturing deep into the catacombs beneath some random church. Because just so you know, underneath churches are complex webs of monster-based demon holes. I don't know. Really weird places where lots of unholy beings stir. It's sort of like the ultimate kick in the pants to a church to be infested with demons, you know? It's like the one th like rats or uh, I don't, like what else? What other kinds of monsters? Swamp creatures, you know, there's all sorts of creatures that are like not specifically you know, anti-church, but demons! It doesn't get more anti-church than demons. That's like the worst kind of infestation any church could have, man. Um, okay, we got a composite bow just now. Where's my identity scrolls? Oh, there's a weird shadow creature. It's funny how, like, if the, any of these creatures were real... I don't have any identity scrolls. If any of these creatures were real, they would be absolutely horrifying. But in the game, they're more nuisances than anything. It's like, ah, oh, you damn shadow creatures, you damn skeletons, get out of here, guys. You're causing me troubles. Like, literally, a demon has emerged, has materialized out of darkness. And I'm just like, you got any good loot? How much gold are you worth? If you could drop a scroll of identity, that would be handy for me right now. Okay, I'm getting surrounded. Bad news. So I was thinking about uh, Diablo 1 and 2 um, a little bit between sessions here. And it really is the case that, like, Diablo 2 really was way more advanced than Diablo 1. Like, Diablo 1 is, like, pretty basic. You're just, like, in these dungeons. It's, like, one setting, basically. You're in dungeons underneath... Oh, I'm gonna level up. Underneath a church, killing these monsters... And it's like, yeah, you go deeper into the... Oh god, I'm about to die. I... Effing died. <laughs> Damn it. I was so close to leveling up! Oh well, whatever, we had just saved, so who cares. I wonder if that composite, that magical composite bow will still spawn, or will be a different item. This is actually a good test to see, uh... How bold I should get. Um... I think the magical composite bow is still there. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. Oh, there even was a potion of healing on the ground there. Okay, let's see if we can level up without dying here. I'm gonna actually try and lure these guys into choke points. There we go. There we go. Alright. Because we're so close to leveling. I think we were at 108 before. But yeah, Diablo 2, it's like you go through different worlds and like all Diablo 1 is entirely, it, it is literally a dungeon crawler. You are literally in dungeons crawling around the whole time. Okay, let's heal. Okay, what is happening here? Can you monsters stop for 10 seconds? I think my armor is about to break too. Oh god, definitely broke. And I <laughs> died again. Now the fact that I have a save point makes me like less concerned about uh... What was breaking? Was it this? I guess I'll heal it. Go ahead and fix it up, alright. Um, alright, into the dungeon. Get my heal spell on. Yeah, there's, like, so much more in Diablo 2, and it's so much more advanced in terms of the controls, too. Like, Diablo 1 feels a little, uh, grid-stuck, if that makes any sense. Like, everything very clearly is on a grid, and your guy very clearly walks on a grid. I seem to vaguely recall Diablo 2 that wasn't the case. It might, it might be. But Diablo 2 just feels more, like, uh, flowy and less like you're standing on a grid and stuff like that, so... 
I don't know. I, you know what? I might be totally misremembering Diablo 2. It might be way more similar to this than I recall. I, I am actually legit a little curious to go try Diablo 2 after trying this one now. But anyway. Alright, monsters. Stop killing me and or I just saved my game. Kill away. Kill away. Ow. Oh man, there's so many of these blink guys. That's the problem. These blink guys. Come get some, man. Oh, and they appear from like weird angles, too. Like how their heads fall off when you kill them. Heal. Stop it. Want some? Either of you? He's like, nope. Why are these demons all naked too, by the way? Are we invade like I, I guess you would think, oh, they're like they're like animals. They don't wear clothes, but I've seen demons wear clothes. I think this is a colony of nudists. We're invading the new demon colony of old. Get out of here, you nudists. Put on some pants. Stop scaring the children. Oh god, get out of here. The problem is they hit you and they can like stun lock you where like you can't you can't actually attack. There we go. Just leveled up. And now I'm gonna get owned and have to waste another potion. Jesus. Back off, you punks. The animals. You want some too? He's like, nope. Where did he go? Oh seriously, he's just gone. That's that's creepy actually. Oh there he is. All right, down he goes. Very bloody game. They all die in a pool of their own blood. Oh god, more skeletons. All right, finish leveling up here. <laughs> all right, what are we going for? I forget. I guess strength is good. Yeah, there we go. Be nice and strong. And I think I can use this sword now if I want. I don't know if it does more. I can't remember if it does more damage or not. 82% chance to hit. 10 to 18 damage. 8 to 19. So it's about the same on average. It'll work out to be virtually the same. Okay, so I'm going to try and get a shield. Because I think that would be... I think it would be good to take a little less damage from things. I don't know. I also am like... Kind of getting interested in, uh... Yeah, it does nothing. Kind of getting interested in, f in, uh... Oh, what was I talking about? A shield? Okay, I don't know what I'm interested in now. That thought has completely left my head. I was briefly interested in something. Nothing. Nothing. That's a skeleton. Skeletons I don't mind because they kind of like... I think skeletons have had like two hit points the entire game. Literally, no matter what weapon I'm using, they just go down. Ooh, a room in here. Oh my god, a treasure room. Ooh, a ring. It was his toe ring. Toja likes to go nude with his toe ring out to the dungeon to party on weekends. Anything cool in here? A random dagger. What's of money? I think these, these guys were just sleeping on a pile of money. It was two dudes living together. Sleeping on a pile of money. Anything cool over here? More dungeon. Oh no. It isn't more dungeon. Studded leather. We could be a stud. So this would... Give me a lot more armor. Alright, as cool as it is to have plus four to all attributes, I think I need to be a stud. 2% less chance to hit, but that's okay. And I think this stud needs to go into town. Because, uh, I desperately need to identify things and sell a bunch of crap. Maybe I should just go up this- I'm right here by the stairs, I might as well. Oh, there's even a chest here. Anything? Ooh, cash. Cold hard liquid cash. Uh, up to town. 
right. Oh yeah, no auto map. I don't know. I, every time I come into town, I want the auto map. You'd think I would learn by now. I'm a slow learner. All right, Grizz Griswold, Grizzbald. Oh, what can I do for you, Grizzy? Um, let's let's identify the stuff we've got actually first. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay, this is resist magic. Okay, useless. Oh, a ring of radiance. So I can either have 20 more hit points, which is nice, but not essential. Wait, what does this item actually do? The ring of truth. Oh, there it goes. That's weird. It didn't actually tell me. Plus 10 hit points, minus one damage, plus 10. Okay, so that's good. I'm not going to sell this ring yet because I might change my mind, but I'm going to see what 40%. I'm going to see what a brighter dungeon looks like. And now I will come oh, over here what can I do for you? and I will sell the pearl bow. Um, I will sell the Azure cloak. That's a lot of money. You know, I was thinking also between... Uh, videos here. I should go to, to Wart or whatever more often. That what little kid on the edge of friend? town. And, uh... See what he can do for me. Okay. I feel like these scrolls of healing are just garbage. I should just sell them. And we're gonna have our money. We have our ring. Healing. We have tons of town portal scrolls were set on that. These are like all town portal. Inferno. Okay, I'm gonna buy one more full heal. I like to have eight full heals. Okay, and let's check that kid on the edge of town. One day he's gonna sell some awesome item that I want. I don't even know what I'm looking for. So I said this last video, but so far the abilities on weapons and stuff are rather underwhelming. I want things like stun enemy, steal life, you know, whatever. I want abilities, but they're all like plus four to strength. And it's like, I don't care. That mace of the stars. Plus 10 to all attributes. For 23,000, I only have 12,000 actually. Wait, that thing sucks. Screw you, kid. I should just go to the blacksmith in town and see what he's got. There's something so muted about the graphics in this game that just give it like this kind of spooky feel. Like all the characters kind of like don't have faces and are just like barely animated and I mean you're fighting demons and stuff so it's, uh, that's scary oh, what can I do for you? But, oh, we could get double ring of radiance we could be super bright walk around that dungeon looking fabulous warriors hammer of the leech plus 11 percent to hit plus 11 percent plus 63 percent lifesteal oh my god this is what I want and I can't afford it I literally said I want some, like, vampire effects and stuff. 19,000. Is there any way I can even get close? Not really. I have another 2,000. I'm up to 14. You know what? Let's go adventuring, man. Let's do a little bit of adventuring. And either we will get the money for that or we will find something even cooler. But that seemed like the weapon I wanted. High damage, life steal. Where am I going? Where's the it's over here, right? Over here? There we go. I got lost there. I got lost in a field. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go this way. See what we got going on. All right. Anyone in here? 
Oh, a bunch of skeletons. Oh my god, and whatever that thing is. Alright, doorway time. Winged demon. Alright, at least they go down easy. Diablo could really be called the game of doorways. Oh, I'm not even aimed at the right spot, that's why. It's- it's hard to keep- it's oddly hard to keep your guy aimed in the right position. Oh! He just jumped on the other side of me. Weird. Alright, give me all your cash, dudes! I'm in a bit of a cash crunch here, I'm trying to buy it- oh god. Okay, back over this way. Yeah. I think he dropped a health potion. Anyone else want some? Alright, potion of healing. This guy looks like he's stationary. Oh, they're like... Statues, interesting. True gargoyles. So can we get a free hit on them then? Or Oh my god, they hit hard. Drop some magical loot. I need cash. Also, save your game. Full of identity, that's something. Go. Yep. These guys teleport around when you hit them. Sort of. Not if you kill them, I guess. What are we doing for experience? We're almost leveled up again. Check out this room. Yeah, I guess we'll open the door. We got in here. Oh, but oh my God! All right, come to the door, guys. Game of doors. Everybody, queue up and wait your turn to be beaten to death with a bloody axe. Roll of infravision. Mana shield. I think mana shield uh, sets it up such that when you take damage, it's your mana that's affected, not your health. Jeez. Oh my god. Guess my studded leather isn't doing its job. No more dudes to kill. Dude hunting parties heading south. So I have a lot of memories of the first few levels of Diablo, but once it gets to this part, it gets murky. Like when you're in the cathedral and stuff. I mean, I played the shareware version a lot as a kid, so probably that's where most of my Diablo memories came from was the shareware version. I did have the full version. I just played it less. I know eventually you end up in hell, and there is like a part where you're sort of like in heaven or something like that. So I, I like vaguely remember what different sections are like, but I don't remember them clearly. Like I remember skeletons and the fallen, you know, those sort of goblin-y guys. A lot more than I rem- oh shoot, I just wasted a potion. A lot more than I remember these stalker guys right now that we're fighting. Because um, those guys tended to be in the later parts. I also remember the Butcher, because I'm pretty sure the Butcher is the only boss in the Shareware version, if you can even get to him. Whereas in the actual game here, we never encountered the Butcher. We instead countered some fallen guys who uh, tried to trick us. Also, there was that goat guy who said, like, if we didn't hurt him, he would reward us later on, and we didn't. I've yet to be rewarded, though, let me tell you. Oh my god, what is- holy crap! A horned demon. That guy is all revved up. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Okay. But doors were made for. Like a demon's only weakness. A door. Okay, can you guys back off? Oh my god, I'm gonna be pecked to death. By going out like Eddie in uh, Stranger Things. 
heal. There's always a question of like, how far do you want to push it in terms of like how much damage you want to take before you heal? Large axe. That does more than my current axe. What you got? Resist fire. My current axe. So this would do two more damage. Two to four more damage, but have a 10% chance less to hit. Eh. Like actually hitting my enemies. I don't know. I don't know what's better. And so, locked beyond the gateway of blood and past the hall of fire, valor awaits for the hero of light to awaken. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Is this a bloodstone? Oh, that's the stone they were looking for. Pedestal of blood. I think what's his face was looking for uh, a stone, a bloodstone or something. So we'll go give it to him. Um, I guess I should just go into town. I mean, I'm low on. Uh, I'm low on uh, potions or whatever. So. All right, what can you do with this stone, Grizz, Grizzman? Whoa, what can Grizzell? I do for you? I'm still waiting for you to bring me that stone from the heavens. I know that I can make something powerful out of it. Oh. The armor known as Valor could be what tips the scales in your favor. I'll tell you that many have looked for it, including myself. Arcane hit it well, my friend. And it'll take more than a bit of luck to unlock the secrets that have kept it concealed all oh, low these many years. Oh, okay. So wait, what is this item I got then? I got a bloodstone? Wait, where is it? Wait, did I even pick it up? God damn it. I think I just left it. Crimson Axe. Oh wait. Maybe Whoa, I can sell can these weapons. They're not worth very much. Um <coughs> Alright, Ring of the Jaguar, your time is up. And get about two thousand more. I'm so close. I I need like if I find one or two more magical items that these guys want, these bozos want, we got it. What ails you, my friend? I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If... Hmm. It sounds like something I should remember, but I've been so busy learning new cure... Alright. Keep healing. Max these out. Okay, now I need a whole other thousand bucks. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Griswold speaks of the Heaven Stone that was destined for the Enclave located in the East. It was being taken there for further study. This stone glowed with an energy that somehow granted vision beyond that which a normal man could possess. I do not know what see. The Gateway of Blood and the Halls of Fire our landmarks of mystic origin. Those sound terrifying. Where this book you read from resides. It is surely a place of great power. Okay. Well, these guys don't know Jack. Turns out. Um, I thought that magical rock. Oh, going back into town with a bunch of oh, whatever. I'll just throw stuff away. Or should I sell stuff to the witch? I wonder if she'll buy my useless healing potions. Where is she? Over here somewhere, I think. She looks kind of like um, Morticia from Adam's family. Okay, potion of mana. They're not worth anything. We'll sell you whatever. Take my Inferno Scroll. I'm never going to use the damn thing. Mana Shield 300? Take it. 
Infravision, take it. Anything else you want? Nothing. Do you have anything cool? You sell staffs. The Heaven Stone is very powerful, and were it any but Griswold who bid you find it, I would prevent it. He will harness its powers and its use. Well, I like how she respects the guy. Should you find these stones of blood, use them carefully. The way is fraught with danger, and your own. Huh. Okay, so the. You know what I kind of wish? I kind of wish you could control this, uh, your character with the keyboard. Like, just use the arrow keys and stuff. Like, the numpad to move in all directions and space to attack. That would act like, I don't mind that it's point and click, but I, I, I kind of wish there was keyboard controls. For some reason this game feels like it could really use them. Oh, I didn't use these stupid scrolls of healing. I just need to actually use them, I think, is the thing. Okay, let me check if I ac actually picked up this bloodstone. Or just left it. Pedestal of blood. Yeah, I did. I have it. I don't know what the pedestal of blood actually does. Hmm. Well, consider me confused. Save game. Let's carry on. The dungeons are actually being laid out far differently than the upper levels. These are far more cavernous rooms. Roll of town portal. Is there a monster up here? Oh, yeah, there was. There we go. All right, everybody come get yours. Doling out noogie boogers to the first 10 monsters on the house. It's nice picking up gold, but it's just sort of a slow increment. I want magical items that I can uh, sell for far more. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to use a healing scroll just to get out of my inventory. Ow. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, man. I was going to try and use a healing scroll, but I literally had to uh, bust out a healing potion to not die there. Hey, imagine... The magic this rock. Must be what Griswold wanted. I was just in town. All right, all right. We'll go back. We gotta, you know, we gotta clear inventory space. We got all these scrolls of town portal that aren't doing any. Ow! That's a stupid. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. That's a huge magic rock. I'm able to be worth 20,000 that cloak and I can finally buy my sweet axe of leech. Ow. The studded leather armor, I'm already a stud. Morning star. Alright, let's go down a level and then town portal our way out of here. Oh. Nothing. I feel like those little chests often carry absolutely nothing of value. Like, here's another one. Okay, I spoke too soon. 70 gold is something. Healing potion, too. Level 6. Hold on to your butts. As we immediately get the hell out of here. I do have to watch my scrolls of town portal because I definitely don't want to be without them. Like, I think I have one, two, three, four right now. Five. Okay, so we're pretty good on them right now. But it's worth just making... Oh, six. Worth making sure we don't ever run out because that would be a disaster. Let me see that. Aye! Aye, it is as I believed! Give me a moment. <laughs> he made me a ring. What does it do? Not identify. You couldn't even take the Hello, goddamn god of common courtesy Stay to identify it for me. 
Okay, it's a unique item. Great. Plus three to all attributes. Okay. So. Plus two to all attributes, plus 20% light rays absorbs half of trap damage. Well, I'm going to swap it out for my pure light ring. Oh, maybe I can actually afford... Whoa, what can I do for you? Okay, so we can sell this Cloak of the Sky. Uh, Ring of Radiance. Sell that. Oh, it's getting so close. Still about a thousand off. I mean, I might as well sell this sword. And I'll sell the axe, too. Okay, so now we only need 2,000. How much is this worth? Because we will oh, need to sell that. Oh, only 500. It's a shame, it's a good axe. Definitely, I would say it's worth more than 500. That's for sure. Just all my potions. So these are all town portal scrolls. Good. Good. Um, alright. Well. What ails you, my friend? Healing. We're basically one good magical item away from that uh, sword of the leech or whatever. I want to make sure he still has it. Whoa! What can I do for you? Warrior's hammer of the leech. Save our game. I was expecting the magical rock to give me something way better, to be honest. It was on. It's honestly kind of a letdown. Plus two to all attributes. I mean, honestly, I wonder if I sold this if I could have afforded the axe. <laughs> kind of too late now. Now that ow, now that I sold my other ring. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Oh, a horror captain. Oh, and there's a goat man. Hey, get over here. Oh my god, the traps are getting way more elaborate. They stored 1.21 gigawatts, gigawatts of electricity of juice in that wall. Yeah, these guys are still as annoying as anything, though. Any items for me? Take magical items. Starting to drop a fair amount of money, though. That's good. Um, I'm going to go with that. Uh, that. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm building towards anymore. Ow, ow, oh god. What is getting me? Jesus. Okay, hold on. Jesus. Oh my god, there's a thousand dudes. This is a crazy fight. Okay, we just gotta tank it. We trained for this. We trained for this. Get over here, goat man. Don't you dare run from me, goatee. Oh god. He like lured me into another more sophisticated trap of monsters. This is crazy. I kinda wish I had a ranged attack. I guess spells would be the solution to the, all my problems. Just to be not be lazy and actually use some spells. Look at him run. The coward. Only well, wasn't such a damn effective strategy. It's like the skeletons don't run. They stand like men and take it. There you go. Jeez, that was crazy. I burned through all my potions. This is why I need to start having a uh, shield. It's just too inefficient. To, to just tank all this damage all the time. 
Also, I kind of regret uh, selling all those scrolls of healing. Um. All right, come on out, everybody. It's go time. All right, I'm just going in. Okay, hold on. Save my game. Jesus. I'm like one-shotting them, but like I can't take their sustained damage. Checkmate goat people. Oh, there's a magical item. Oh my god, can you not do this? Be more annoying. Uh, I think I have fireballs. Eat it. Did nothing. Glad I wasted man on that. There we go. Ah, oh, you bastard. Stop it! <laughs> Why is he as fast as me? Oh god. Oh god damn you. You know what I'm realizing? A normal heal potion heals me up to full. I think I've been wasting money on the full heal potions. Which sucks, because I've probably burned through like one to two thousand dollars on them. Okay, Claymore. More dudes. I'm only gonna buy normal healing potions from now on. Can you stop? Jeez, those guys are the most annoying enemies we've encountered. Might as well do that. Nice. Essence of life flows from within. I don't know what that does. <clears throat> All right, now I can go up. We have lots of ways to explore. I will right, we'll start going up and see what dangers we find. Oh, oh, never mind. Beyond the hall of. Okay, I don't have time to read this right now. Heal! Okay, that didn't fully heal me. I don't know what's going on with the healing potions. Nether town portal. Oh. Perfect. Perfect excuse to use a, a scroll of healing. You know what I would like is some armor that's like reflect 50% of projectiles at back of your enemies. That would be amazing. I don't know if that exists in the Diablo 1 here. Roll of phasing. Portal. Okay, what does this book have to say? The mythical book. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror and... Eternal death? As opposed to like the temporary kind? Them non-eternal deaths. Oh yes, a magical mace. Okay. So we've got... We probably have enough. Oh, we have 18... 18.8 18, just there in pure cash. A liquid cash form. Okay, we'll town portal in a moment then, I guess. Oh god. As we get ambushed. And to stay healthy with the heals. Alright. You sneaky jerks. Oh, what is that? A goat shrine. 
Interesting. Oh. Ow. Who's in here? Oh god. Those traps. They get me every single time is unbelievable. <clears throat> Alright, well we're close. Oh. And we just got another scroll of town. Two scrolls of town portal. And a potion of healing. Alright. <laughs> to town we go. Alright. Time to spin. I guess we gotta identify these things first. Hello, my friend. Um, Stay a while. Ooh, we have enough listen. though. Vital sort of zest, we're definitely gonna sell that. Oh, that's good though. Ten percent chance it knocks target back. Kinda like that to be oh, honest. What can I do for you? The zest sword is going. Oh my god, is it not here anymore? You son of a bitch! Oh no, it is, it is. <laughs> I overlooked it. 11% chance to hit 63% damage and hit steal. So hold on, 63%. So that is 8 to 15. Yeah, it's better than what I've got by a lot. But here's just the question. Is it worth just using this instead? So I'll do less damage, but I'll knock targets back. No, because I the doorways the doorways work well enough for me. Um, the only Whoa, thing is, what can I do for you? Yeah, hold on. Save our game. Whoa! What can I do for you? Okay, let's buy this thing. The axe of the leech. Even better. Um, okay, there's all our money. Okay, so this is a one-handed thing. That is what I wanted to know. So 15 to 21 versus... Okay, so this is definitely a better weapon. Has a higher chance to hit, and this steals life. I'm happy with that. Okay, so you can have the Mace of the Bear. Whoa! What can I do for you? You can have... We gotta start building our cash reserves back up. Or town I think these are all scrolls of town portal. Hilarious. It's getting a little actually out of control. Um, okay, let's go heal. So what we do need is a shield. What ails you, my friend? Buy items. I'm just gonna buy a couple of basic heals. And a few bigger ones because I'm a little poor at the moment. And I'm just gonna see if he has like a basic shield we can get because probably it's better oh, than nothing. What can I do for you? Oh, rags. Come check out my basic items, including rags. I'll just buy that random small shield. Oh. I'll actually use it. There we go. All right, we're going into hammer territory. The axe served us well, but it is time to expand our horizons. See how this fares. Man, if this weapon sucks, we, we blew all of our money on it. All of our cash. That'll be very sad. <laughs> Also, it doesn't have a ton of lifesteal. It has like, what, 3%? That's a little crappy. Might just be enough though. These guys are so annoying. Okay, I noticed my health going up a little when he attacked him. Hardened leather. Turns out being a stud is better than being hard. Yeah, this is garbage, so. 
Um, also, I'm going to repair my hard, my studded leather. Everything else is in good shape. The uh, fireballs, I guess? So what is this goat shrine? Oh, what the heck? Teleport. I wasn't done in that room. So the goat shrine just teleports you out of- that is... What a lame... What a lame thing to discover. Mystical goat shrine, which lets you exit a room rather quickly. A little bit of gold here that we needed. All right. Wait, now it doesn't. Now it's deactivated. Oh, uh, who knows? You goats. You really get my goat. Did I pick up the potion that spawned out here? I did. All right. Chest full of money. So we're in a b rebuilding our cash reserves mindset right now. It's crazy every 5,000 uh, gold in this game takes like a whole uh, inventory slot. Let's watch our health go up, shall we? I think it goes up. Oh no, I just leveled up. I was going to say, I think it goes up by one or two every time I hit a guy. I think it's one hit point every time we hit um, okay, I want this to hit to be higher. There we go. 85% chance to hit is not bad. I'll be happy when we're in the 90s. Okay, there's to the Chamber of Bone. Apparently the cha- they've- all these books we've been reading have been talking about this Chamber of Bone. Well, let's do it. Yes. Save our game in case we screwed up. It is kind of cool that you can just save your game whenever you want. I feel like in most roguelike games, it just auto-saves, and when you die, it deletes your save game. Some games, when you die, it doesn't delete your save game, but that's usually pretty rare. Uh, but to allow you to just save whenever you want, like, literally... I mean, it's probably the, the cheesier... Oh my god. The horned demons are no joke. It's the cheesier way to go through the game. Because there really is no risk, you know? Like, if I die right now, I'll just load the game and be back 30 seconds. But it does feel a bit like cheating. It feels like you shouldn't be able to save your game this frequently. But whatever, I didn't I didn't program Diablo. Alright, dudes. One at a time, everybody. Scroll of phasing, eh? you have cool loot, I'd appreciate it if you queue to the front. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh. The unseen. Guess what, I see you. Alright. Oh my god, there's a- I was like, oh, the room's clear. Nope. Like a thousand billion more of them in there. Doing this. You can drop more money, please. I think I'm gonna level up soon. They each give me only like 300. Or 250. Jeez, these guys are worthless. Guess if you kill enough of them, though, even the most worthless enemies worth something. Now, my only complaint is that you don't just auto-pick up every thing. I mean, I understand not picking up the items, but the money is almost a no-brainer. More! How is this possible? You guys are just packed into this room like sardines. More! Jesus! Bolted armor. There we go. More! Oh my god! That is truly amazing. Um, I think there's gold right there, but I guess it's just bodies. Ooh, Book of Healing. Oh, no, wait. Scroll of Healing? There's a guy. Ain't getting away that easy, punk. 
All right, well, that was room number one. Do I have any identity scrolls? I don't think I do these days. All right, room number two. It's actually empty. Well, you know what? It may if room number one was that packed. Room number one better be empty. All right, you guys are getting a little rambunctious. You could all queue up at the doorway. Take your turns. You guys know the drill by now. I feel like I have not used a healing potion since I got my new mace. I don't know if it's because it's healing me or because my shield is helping reduce the damage, but either way, I am happy. I was going through healing potions like crazy before. There we go. Arcane knowledge gained. What the? Guardian spell. Oh, I guess those were guardians? Hmm. What does this do, though? Guardians. 50 mana. I don't even think I have that much. I, I don't even go that high. As a, as a person. Interesting. Alright, well, we've learned a useless spell. Gotta count for something. Would have appreciated a cool shield or... Some sweet boots or something, but... I guess that's... Okay? No, no, I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. What a useless... If that's all that was in here... No? Okay, guys. Stop it! Stop being such dicks! Oh, there we go, a lever. Oh, did that open a door over? I think it opened a door over here. Oh, hello. Couple of bonies. Guarding a room with... Oh, a treasure chest. Yes, stuff. Loot. I gotta pawn some Finally. Oh my god, if this is the same as that, I'm gonna be so mad. I swear to god, it better not be. Um... That up. Where is that? And we better go to town. We got some stuff to identify <laughs> and potentially sell. Man, save our game now. But can you imagine if that is the hammer of the leech like I just Hello, bought? My friend. Or it's Stay even better. And listen. Minus three. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So. Rules of armor. Okay, here we go. Of puncturing. Damages targets armor. Hmm. I care not for that, but um, this is better, right? Minus three damage. That's cool. And then I'll just sell the rest of this stuff. I press escape sometimes to close my inventory, oh, and it brings up the menu. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. Full cap. Hammer of puncturing. There we go. We're almost back up to five thousand dollars. It's pretty good. Um, let's repair this and repair that. And meh, might as well. Alright, we're back up to speed. Um roll of phasing. I guess we don't need anything else. Let's go finish that hall of bones. I wish you could sell a spell that you've learned, actually. That would be kind of interesting. Sell your memories. Because I would give away that guardian spell. I think it just summons a three-headed dragon that helps you fight things. Which is not terrible. But again, I don't even have enough mana to summon it. I mean, maybe I should work towards a bit more mana. Ow. We'll see. 
God damn it, guys. Stop it. Oh, we opened a chamber way over there. Yeah, that, that totally does open a door. You, you see it appear on the map. You can see it's over here. Up here, we didn't go through it before because it didn't exist. Now it does. Alright, what do we got? Short bow, cloak, and ape. Not enough room for all that, huh? Back to town, I guess. I wish my inventory was bigger, I'll say that. It feels like we're artificially heading back to town every two seconds. They're like, weren't you right here? And I was like, yeah, but I got some cool new stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Adds one point of damage. Bow of quality. 20% light radius. That's kind of cool. 40% armor. I wonder what ends up being better. 40% armor. So armor class 31, 19. Okay, it's way better to be a stud. I mean, Whoa, walking around nude you? in a cape versus being a stud, one is clearly better than the other. Obviously. Whoa, what can I do for you? Do you have any cool items? I know I just spent all that money, but uh, we're already up to 4,000 again. Amulet of Stability. And we don't have any amulets. Axe of Radiant. Armor of the Eagle. Shield of the Moon. None of that stuff's particularly interesting to me. Oh, we're so close. I say three more levels and we'll be at 90%. I guess I should work on vitality a bit, too. Uh, I don't know. Alf. Pro tip, dude, don't walk through the fire. Do I have to micromanage that? That's ridiculous. I just assume my guy would be smart enough not to walk into fire, but... I guess I'm the idiot. All right. That Hall of Bones was great. I would do that again. Give me more... Give me more bones like that, please. Oh, okay, bunch of guys. I'm getting surrounded here. It is happening again. Okay, can you pop a heal? Stop it. The danger of being surrounded is it's they stun lock you, like they knock you out of your attack cycle. That is actually so problematic. By the doorway strategy, it's not like necessarily to try to be cheap. It's just like it's the most effective way to fight them and not get constantly stun locked. That's what it's about. Not necessarily mitigating their hits. I mean, it is nice to take them one at a time. Of course. Of course it is. Like two at a time I'll do as well. But even that, it's like just way less effective than one at a time through a doorway. I'm getting way more surrounded here than normal. Okay, 62 health. What happens when I hit a guy? Okay, I go up by like one health every other hit or something. It's not terrible. It's not like, you know, amazing. We'll get a better leech weapon later in the game. Now that I know leeching does exist, we'll definitely get it. Stand in the corner and shoot a man with a bow and arrow? What kind of skeletons are you? Scroll of phasing. Oh, right. Scroll of healings. We're supposed to be using this. Short sword. Ew. Get out of here. 
I think I've used all my scrolls of healing. Exciting. Took a long time to get those out of the old inventory. So I think the problem with scrolls of healing is you can't use them during combat. Because you get knocked out of, uh... Because usually when you want to heal, it's like a panic heal because you're taking too much damage. And you get knocked out of, uh, the cast. And I think it wastes the scroll, even. Maybe it doesn't, but either way, not being able to cast it is problematic enough. Ooh, acid beasts. Oh, that leveled me up. Um, dexterity? Oh, we're getting so close. Um, I'm gonna take a little vitality. What is over this way? Oh my god, it's a billion jillion acid beasts. Okay, I'll we'll back up a bit. So my question is, can I step in their blood or will it hurt me? Because I just presume it's acidic. Does not hurt me, okay. That would actually be kind of annoying if it did. Oh, scroll identity. Always helpful. Book of Inferno. Do I already have Inferno? Don't. Um, eh, eh, whatever. I think they only get you like 250 bucks, which is not nothing, but it's not nearly as much as it used to be. We have like over 5,000 already, so. When you're getting like 5 G's a floor. You know what? Learning the spell just so I don't have to carry around that stupid book is probably more the reason I just did what I did there. Bring up the inventory space. Oh, look at these guys. Mudman. Okay, Mudman. How do you do in the door? Frankly, I thought these guys were scarier when they were pink. Thank you. Scroll of heal. Scroll of identity, I'll take that. Oh my god, there's a lot of you dudes. It's a fat dude party. Alright, everybody. You know the drill. It's fun when they're like trying to walk to get you and they like can't even walk on the tile before getting hit and then they get knocked back to the previous tile. Man, I have a, like a 90% chance of hitting. How am I missing him this much? What is happening? Well, almost 90. I think it, what is it? 80... Was it 88? 87? It's close. Alright, I... Guess I will go this way. Back to the door. <laughs> Jerk. Guess I just leveled. I'm like getting antsy now. I'm like, when's the next level? Watch our health go up. Yeah, it goes up by one every hit. Yeah, how am I missing so much? These guys must have modifiers that reduce my chance to hit or something. Oh, every time. Oh, what the hell was that? What was that? Eager goat man. Just 
Stop it, Goaty. <laughs> They're all just standing at the door deciding who's gonna go next. Get hit in the face. Look at that guy, he's all red and sparkly. He's the most beautiful goat I've ever seen. Oh, he's coming to kill me. <gasps> Ah, but we got him. This has got to be we're still not close to leveling. Every time I kill like a big guy like that, I feel like we should automatically get enough experience to like almost level. Feels weird when it doesn't happen. Blocked door, block by all the bodies. All right. Ooh, a magical blade, a magical small shield, a bunch of money. Plus 12 to magic. Well, it's better than what I've got, but why the heck not? Blade. It is resist all, plus six to all that. That's pretty good. Not a terrible thing, but I like what I've got better, but still not terrible. I could see a world where if I didn't have this hammer, I might have picked that thing. Sword. Almost time to head back. I can actually read these and understand these now because I have my shield. My shield must have like uh, cheat notes or something like scrawled on the back to help me uh, understand magical spells. My guy's too stupid. Oh. Yeah, what's in here? What fresh hell awaits. Bunch of bats. And down they go. Oh god. Um. Okay. Oh, I should use my heal potion uh, spell. I wish your mana regenerated. If mana slowly regenerated over time, then I would definitely be more interested in spells. The fact that it doesn't, though, makes me less interested. I also wish your health slowly regenerated, too. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Jeez. He knocked me out of, like, four or five attack cycles. Because he was a jerk. Yeah, let's go over here. Oh, there's the stairs down. Oh my god, and a billion of these guys. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know what? There's a door over here, I, th I seem to recall. Blah, 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 blah. These guys are kind of cool looking. They're like dogs with spikes all over their backs. <sighs> Oh, I think the acid does hurt you, but eventually it becomes inert. Yeah, because I was actually getting hurt there, but like this stuff's inert. But yeah, it did, when it first lands, that acid stings, I guess. Book of Charged Bolts. Uh, where'd that book go? <laughs> Go ahead and read it. These are all level one spells. Damn, Holy Bolt does crazy damage. Only against undead, though. Firebolts are actually pretty good. Truth be told. 
Maybe I should care more about magic. I mean, I still don't, but... Maybe I should feel bad about it. Okay. There's so much unexplored here. Okay, you know, we're not going to go down the dungeon just yet, but... Are going to add no, no, we're not even gonna do that. We'll explore a little bit more. I, I I did say before that we're gonna stop trying to clear every floor of the dungeon because it is a little impossible and I mean sometimes if you find the stairs real quick and you know it's like a big oh chain mail. It can be quite annoying. To have to. Oh, look, my, my guy's like actually in, uh, in armor now. I'm no longer a stud. Now I'm a chain daddy. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's more of a pain to like walk to the far side of a dungeon to clear it out. But when there's like a ton of dungeons still to explore, it's usually worth. I mean, we became a chain daddy. If we hadn't decided to walk out. We would have missed that, you know? Right. Oh god. Okay, don't get trapped in there. <laughs> Gotta contain the threats. Now my shield's low. I just repair it in the dungeon here. Or, yeah, I'm going to just, oh, what is this? Scroll of phasing. Oh, these are all my scrolls. I'm going to just uh, repair this manually, even though I know it brings the durability down because I don't want it to break accidentally. And it has actually tons of durability. Oh, it will be fine. Nothing in here, eh? I just cleared that room out for funsies. That was a waste of a room. been here before. Didn't go in this room. Hey you. Jerk. Oh, here we go. It's a go party. Oh, God. They hit hard. I cannot get a hit in. Oh, jeez. I'm about to die. Jeez, that was brutal. I feel like after a big attack like that, I'm always reminded to save my game. Die. Hard leather. Rather be a chain daddy. Oops. Ow. A library full of electric bats. Level seven, eh? I wonder if we can make it. So I think it took us about two hours or so to do the first five levels. I wonder how long it will take to do the next five. I think it goes in intervals of five. So it's like, at level 10, we'll sort of fight a boss, and then we'll move on to, like, the next area. I can't carry anymore. Book of Flash. What is that? I might as well read it. What does it do? Uh, uh, what level was it even? Flash. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Hmm. Um, how much money do I have, by the way? Like 6,500 almost? Okay, so there is that whole area. Okay, we're right over here. I guess we will. I was going to say maybe we should just head down a level, but we'll clear it out. 
See, if you're speedrunning the game, you actually do want to find, uh, like, all these, um, the stairs as fast as possible. Half of phasing. But when you are not speedrunning like me, you don't necessarily... You kind of want to find the stairs when you're at the end of exploring an entire floor. I've seen people speedrun it, and they have, like, crazy strategies. Like, it's something where, like, like, I've seen somebody on, like, Games Done Quick speedrun this, and he's, like, a sorcerer, and he's using some sort of, like, mana as your health spell, and, like, I don't know. He, he ends up killing Diablo with barely leveling. I don't know how he does it. But there's, like, certain spells in this game that I think are kind of OP. I think it's, like, the firewall spells or something. Anyone else want some? Anyone else alive? Murky pool. What the heck? Are those guys real, or am I imagining that? Oh my god, they're real. Them's real dudes. I, I can see through walls. I can see evil. Okay. I'm ready for you. I guess this is what infravision is. Semi-useful. Back off, dude. That was kind of cool, actually. I It made me wonder if they were, like, uh, illusions or real. Okay, so see, it's bubbling now, so... Now I can walk through it. There's a door over here. Oh, there's more dudes down there. What we got in here? Nothing. Little barrels. I have a scroll of healing, don't I? There it is. Heal. Oh, here they come. Monster party. We should be close to leveling. Yeah, we kind of are. Oh, speak of the devil. Ooh, book. I can't book carry any more. Um, so close. Ninety percent's my goal. My goal in life. Okay, let's town portal. And let's do this. Uh, whoops. Uh, da, da, da. Go stone curse. There. We're able to get everything. All right, we'll go visit the witch. We haven't seen her in a while. We have to unload some phasing scrolls and stuff. But let's go identify what we got. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and have awesome. some phasing. Hmm. Plus, oh, that sword makes you really strong. All right, do you want to buy any of my stuff? Well, what can I do for you? Sword of power. Blade of the Moon, wow. That's worth 3,000? Doesn't feel like it to me, but it's yours, buddy. And my shield, too. And let's repair the hammer. Repair this. Repair this. Shield of Brilliant. I don't actually care about this shield. I want a better shield, so I'm not going to bother repairing it. And let's see. What ails you, my friend? Uh, healing. Oh, scrolls of healing. Move these up. The higher priority items. I'm not ready to sell my mana potions yet, because I'm not 100% convinced I'll never need them. 
but you know, okay, these are all getting sold. Phasing. Got enough town portals to live a happy, giddy life. We'll sell these things too. We have our money over here. <clears throat> I guess let's see if this uh, guy over here has anything worth buying. Oh, what can I do for you? Armor of the Eagle. Silver ring. Oh my goodness. Plus 16% chance to hit. Hmm. Hmm. That'd be cool. Uh, you know what? Like, how greedy do we want to be? We're at 90%. It probably just wouldn't make a big difference. I'm convinced some enemies, like, I know I'm swinging and I know I technically have a 90% chance to hit. But I'm pretty sure some enemies, whatever their armor value or whatever, is, like, reducing that. Because I feel like some, uh, I feel like it's, like, 50% of the chance I'm, I'm hitting. So 50, 60... Who cares? I'm not going to spend all my money again. For a little while. I gotta see something really good. I sense a soul in anyway, search of answers. Um, now for phasing is yours, my dear. Also, scroll of phasing is yours. Scroll of phasing. Scroll of phasing. Book of the Stone Curse. Eh, take it. Now, do you have anything cool to sell me? I'll take an identity scroll. Bet she doesn't have unlimited. Spells are increased one level. That's kind of cool. 26,000. Jeez. So I currently have like 15,000. Wonder. If that little kid, I wonder how he's doing in terms of selling stuff. I also haven't talked to this barmaid in a long Good time. Day. How up, may I serve you? Okay, never mind. I feel like gossip, they just sort of tell you a little bit of nonsense. And, uh, for a lot of these special events, you just kind of find them in the dungeon. It doesn't matter too much. You talk to them or what they say. Wurt the peg leg boy. Cap o' the lion. That is a shitty cap. I mean, I guess if you're looking for hit points, it's good, but that does not seem great, kid. He's gotten like 200 gold out of us, and technically, he's told us. He has these items for sale. I've never actually seen it. So... You know what? Good on you, kid. Way to hustle. I respect a good hustle. Did I sell everything I needed to? Yes, I did. Goal of identity. Alright. I feel like my guy has a man purse and I just have to, like, reorganize it every time I go into town. Like, I can never find anything in, in this thing. Oh, goats and stuff. Alright. Like how their gold falls in nice orderly, in a nice orderly fashion. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Hey, come on, buddy. Hurry up before your friends get here. Bash your skull in with a warhammer. Anyone else want some? Oh, bunch of goats do. These guys look like they're down to party. Bunch of shirtless goat men out on the town going clubbing. They literally have clubs. Not just a clever pun. Though it also is that. Oh, 
Right. Um, and nothing. Well, we did it for the XP. I would say. Home. Oh. Non magical things are so not worth picking up. It's insane. <clears throat> I always liked how uh, Loop Hero did items where, like, a base non magical item, like, let's say we're talking boots, it gives you, like, 20% bonus to dodge, which is quite good. And then if you have, if you add one magical ability, that 20% goes down to, like, 17%. So if you only cared about dodging, the non-magical item would have the best. So it's like a non-magical item will have one ability and that ability will be pumped to the max. If you have two or three or four abilities, the more abilities you add to an item, the less effective each one is, but you have more of a mix of things. Um, and I kind of like that where it was sort of like, I mean, generally, the trade-off was good enough that you wanted items with more abilities. So you would tend to gravitate towards things with at least two abilities. But sometimes it was better to take the item with only one ability. And I kind of... I like that because I like in games where there's not like a clear right answer. You know? And in Diablo here, having a non-magical piece of armor or weapon is a clear wrong answer. If you have the, the option, always take the magical version, no matter what. Even if it has an ability you don't even care about, it's always at least as good as non-magical. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think if... I mean, Loop Hero wouldn't exist for another 30 years when Diablo came out, so it's not like, uh, you know, the Diablo folks are being lazy and not paying attention to uh, cool features in games, but... Uh, oh god, more demons. Still, if they had figured it out back in the Diablo time, I mean, they could have. It's not a complicated idea. Uh, it could have been a little, in, little made the loot a little more interesting. All right. Anyone else want to party? Aha! Uh -huh. Those dudes do. <coughs> a dog and a dude. Party with the chain daddy. <coughs> I'm missing way too many times. There's no way my to hit chances. It might on paper be 89% or whatever the heck it is, but there's no way that's reality. All right. Which way do we want to go? Somebody threw a fireball at us. A magma demon. Oh, he just fell apart like hot coffee. There. Ooh, there's a treasure room in there. Hello! Demons? Who would like to party first? Anyone else? Yeah, look at all these guys. Oh god. The magma demons are kind of cool because they explode when they die. Oh god, stop knocking me out of my attack. Animation this is brutal. I'm convinced when they play tested this. They knew about doorways, and they knew that doorways were the way you fight big groups of guys. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Uh, yeah, your magma demons. Alright, is this treasure room finally up or up? Nope, still a guy in here. Alright, I think now we're clear. I guess this is where the loot from previous adventurers who've come down here and perished. It's stored up. The monsters just all put it in this room. They're trying to be very neat and orderly with their hoard of gold. The only thing is, how does a monster spend gold? It's not like he can go up to town and go to the shops. 
You gotta imagine that people are not too eager to take monsters gold. So yeah, I, I don't know what a monster does. Maybe looks at it. Maybe the shininess of it. I guess gives them pleasure. Okay, so actually, I think I'm gonna have to wrap up here. We will be back next time with more adventures of Diablo. Now that I got my Warrior's Hammer of the Leech, which I am mostly satisfied with. I don't know. We had to spend our money on something, but we actually have like quite a bit more money. We're back up to like 15 Gs. So I'm not too worried about money. We'll find something cool next time too. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this little uh, Let's Diablo series. If you have, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And uh, I'll be back at some point with more. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess I should just actually stop. So here, let's officially save the game. This is our save point. This is where we'll pick up next time. Um, so I will see you guys then. So next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves. In peace.